Hello traders, uh, I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures, here to talk to you about the grain markets this morning. Uh, not a lot of fresh news, the markets are in a wait and see mode, so we'll wait and see how this weather plays out. I do notice next week it's going to be chillier, colder, we might test freezing, so we'll see how the market responds to that. Corn on Wednesday, there was a three cent range, and uh, uh, early this morning at my home in the suburbs here in Chicago, corn, wheat, and soybeans all down a half a cent, so not really a lot going on. Typically in mid-April here, you don't want to be short these grain markets. It's a risky time of the year, and, and uh, this year so far uh, doesn't seem to be playing out. Does that mean we're not going to have the usual rallies that we have every summer? Corn rallies 50, 60 cents normally. Soybeans rally $1 normally. And I don't know the answer to that question, but so far normal weather, and we're getting us started here in the planning. Uh, we had the soybean, uh, the National Oil Seed Processors Association report. The market soybeans rallied into this report. We're getting record crush numbers every month where they crush the soybeans for soybean meal and soybean oil. And we had a good record crush again and soybeans sold off and gave uh, back most of the gains on Wednesday. A buy the rumors, sell the fact type of scenario. We see that a lot. Uh, the good bullish soybean markets are usually led by soybean meal. It's interesting how soybean oil has been rallying this week. Uh, it's a seasonal trade right now. I have a chart posted on our video here this morning. Buying soybean meal, selling soybean oil. This is a strong seasonal this time of the year, so we're going to watch this. We'll talk to you about it. It is risky. The one you buy might go down. The one you sell might go up. So a very risky trade, but nonetheless, a seasonal one to look at. The wheat market sold off 36 cents in three days. So uh, personally, a headline the other day, a hard red winter week at a five-year low. That's what the world wants is the hard red winter wheat grown in Oklahoma and Kansas. China was buying hard red winter wheat a few weeks ago. So be careful of this headline. I kind of think you're going to see exports pick up on the hard red winter wheat, and we'll talk about that going forward. China this week came out 7% GDP growth. Be careful with that headline. You don't know if China's growing at 5%, 10%. Certainly the coastal cities are growing more than the rural areas. I think China's demand for U.S grains is insatiable here going forward and the rest of our lifetime. So looking ahead next week, what can drive the market? Certainly weather. And uh, um, it's going to be cool. We might test freezing next week. So it'll be interesting to see how the market responds to that. Certainly keep an eye on crude oil. It's incredible how crude oil goes up and other commodity markets go up as well. Soybeans, corn, soybean oil, soybean meal, and also the dollar. Keep an eye on that and have an excellent weekend. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.